Hi there. I wanted to post this once again in regards to the um, tornado outbreak, the bad one that we've had in the South. Um, I'm trying to educate people who are buying into false beliefs and false predictions and all this stuff. Let me show you this. This is the website called the Storm Prediction Center. Now I want people to clearly understand that I'll show you when you scroll down. Look, here is where they predict days in advance, what's going to happen, and where. Now, on the day of the terrible outbreak in this area, about 30 to 32 hours in advance, they had a high warning right where I'm clicking here. The high warning is a very rare warning, and what that basically says is <laughs> it was going to be a terrible day for Twisters, a terrible day, um, a classic tornado outbreak, which obviously occurred. Now, people are saying... People like Dutch Sense, and there's some other YouTubers that are coming on, and they say, Ooh, I saw some harp rings in, 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 in an area here, and so in a couple days there's going to be tornadoes. Well, let me tell you how they did this. They went to the Storm Prediction Center. <laughs> they went down to here to the day in advance warning kind of system. They click on it, and it shows the areas of where it's going to happen. So let's look for tomorrow. This is May 1st. So this is for tomorrow's weather. Hopefully this will load up fast while it's loading up here. Um... I'll explain some other things. Okay, well there it is. Okay, so here's for tomorrow. Now if you notice the yellow area is specific areas where they expect storms, damaging winds, hails. I haven't read the text yet, but th that will include down here whether there's going to be tornadoes, whether it's going to be large hail, whether it's just going to be wind threats. Um, they sometimes mention, you know, flood, heavy rains, things like that, but mostly they stick with uh, uh, severe storms. So once again, this Storm Prediction Center, days in advance, had warned the areas that got hit very hard in Alabama. You know, we, everybody's well aware of what happened. They warned them days in advance. Now, what is <laughs> what people don't understand about this little Dutch Sense con trick is like, I've clearly explained it in other videos. It gets very frustrating for me because people are still apparently very gullible. Um, now, look, let's see for tomorrow. Well, see, let's see. If I put some harp rings in here, and tomorrow there's some storms, which already says there's going to be. Does that make me right? No, it doesn't make me right. It just means that I can read weather forecasting maps. And actually, it's a, it's a simple con. I actually won't be wrong if I put my little harp rings in these areas. You know what? Chances are I'm going to be 80 to 85% accurate every time because they've gotten really good at forecasting. Now, once again, with the historic outbreak, I want to learn a couple things. It's been well reported on the media from mayors, from city officials, that they got weather notices 36 hours in advance, warnings. It didn't say, you're definitely going to get a tornado, but what they got was a warning that said, look, you have a chance of strong tornadoes, you have a chance of hail, you have a chance of lightning, you have a chance of damage that can occur to your city, everything like that. It's already been reported on the, on the mainstream media, so if it's being reported on the mainstream media, it's hardly a conspiracy. Second of all, when you have storms, F4, F5, that strong, it doesn't matter. It boils down to luck if you survive. You either have to be underground or you're just plain lucky. Some people did everything right and it didn't matter because their house was completely swept off its foundation. It's unsurvivable. So, but anyways, <coughs> this site, once again, predicts things days in advance. They predicted that classic outbreak. Now, they didn't say, oh, it's going to be one of the biggest outbreaks in the history, but they said it was going to be very bad, and they knew they weren't overly surprised that it turned out to be so bad. Um, I've been studying this for 10 years. I've gone to this site for 10 years, been researching tornadoes, and there's no doubt it's a, it's, well, obviously it ranks up there with the, with the top of all time. But that's another thing I wanted to point out. The 1974 outbreak happened during similar circumstances. A strong La Nina coming off the West Coast uh, in 1974 resulted in a very similar outbreak that killed 310 people. Um, 1925, there was a tornado, uh, it's called the Tri-State Tornado, um, that came through and killed 747 people. Um, I believe it was through Indiana, Illinois, maybe Missouri, if I'm correct. I might have to double check that. But basically, so, and here's another thing. Um, about nine months ago, the uh, weather forecasters, because of the strong La Nina, were predicting bad tornado outbreaks. And what happened exactly as they predicted. So you can believe that 
There's Dr. Evil is using his tornado machine, but anybody who's been following this knows for years that when you get the right ingredients in place and you have a strong anemia, it's going to be bad. <laughs> so um, we'll see how this May turns out. May is traditionally the busiest tornado month. Um, but sometimes things like we'll get an early start like we've had. We've had a terrible early start. And May might whimper out. Sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes we get nothing in April, and then we get hammered in May into June. And sometimes it's extended even further. So they are getting very good at predicting. But one thing, everybody <laughs> knows this well enough, that nature will do what it wants to do. I mean, at any time, if a volcano went off here or if an earthquake went off here, you're screwed regardless. So that's just life. It's part of being on a, on a, on a planet that is, is a living, well, I don't know if you want to classify it as a, well, it, is, it has a living thing, but <coughs> it's constantly changing, constantly moving. Weather patterns are constantly fighting for dominance, and you're constantly going to have tornadoes. Now, anybody thinks that this is an anomaly? It's not really an anomaly. Like I said, it happened in 1974, it happened in 1925, it happened in the 1800s, and then there's countless other. There was a 1932 outbreak in Alabama alone that killed 332 people in Alabama in 1932. So my whole point is, is you don't need harp to cause these things. This is natural weather occurring. Now, <coughs> excuse me, um, if you want to believe it, Harp, that, that's fine, personally. But it, my point is, is you don't need Harp to be getting these storms at all. It's, you see, when you, when you read the text, you understand basic weather. You can see it. You know it's going to happen. Storm chasers, like I said, I'm an amateur weather guy. 